Yeah, I mean, you know, when he went out, just leaving the nation in goals. It's on the fan ballot for the Hobie, so, you know, just give this team credit. When he was gone, guys were stepping up. But, I mean, obviously to have, you know, one of your senior captains and your leading scorer back, and for him to produce like that, it's amazing. It's a, that's a night he'll never forget, you know. Seemed to really didn't miss him, I mean, technically too much. Seven, one, and two when he was gone, then he comes back free. And uh, the game winner and stuff. Yeah, you guys couldn't have drawn this one up any, uh, any better, it seems. Yeah, and for him to get the winner at the end there, I put put Mark and him together. They've played an awful lot in their career, and um, those guys have some chemistry. So might might think about putting them back together. But uh, you know what? We had a lot of trouble with their speed. That was a tough hockey game for us. We were on our heels, you know, probably the last 40 minutes. Um, you know, they they're so good on the rush. We we had our problems tonight. That's that's a huge win. I'm glad we just stuck in there and and got it done. Um, what are some of the things that, that, that you, I mean, obviously you have depth and that, that's great, but you um, also going late in the season, you, you want to be able to have some flexibility and, and some of your top guys back. What does G bring and what do you think he brought tonight that helps your team? Well, I really liked him on the bench. Um, you know, when it got quiet there and, uh, you know, the rink got quiet, he was the guy that was up on the bench on his feet, you know, trying to get the boys up. So, um, but when you need a big play, he, he's your goal scorer. You know, Every time they got back in the game, it seems that G just uh, was a momentum swing for us in a positive way. So um, it's great to have him back. You had him tonight with uh, Hugo and uh, Isaac, right? Uh, and he was with Sinet and uh, Murph the, uh, for the most of the part. Why did you put him on that line? Um, you got him with the, uh, with the top line. Because you didn't want to break up the top line. Those guys have been going well. Yeah, they had 10 points in 10 games, you know, with, with G not there. So, and. Uh, uh, we were a little worried about G's fitness level. He worked really hard. Uh, pe people have no idea what he was doing behind the scenes uh, to stay in shape. So uh, just didn't feel that he was maybe ready uh, for prime time ice, if you will. He was on our number one power play unit, though. Um, so, but uh, again, I think uh, I think him and Mark have always had chemistry. So we'll look to make that move. And you had the four on four situation at the end of the game too. You purposely put him out there because you. Uh, felt it was his night, or was it his turn? Or no, no, it's, you know, the game's on the line. Uh, I knew G would be out there, and I j it just hit me that that, uh, that Mark and G have killed penalties, um, you know, for most of the year, most of their careers. They've been two good penalty killers, and, um, yeah, I just, I, hey, they get the credit. They made the play. Mark made a great play stealing the puck, and then obviously G's finish was National Hockey League caliber shot. Can you, can you talk about, can you, because we did where, talk about that last goal. I don't know really. Uh, Mark did a great job. It was kind of a one on two down low and uh, kind of just pressured the guy and he turned right back into Mark. He made a great play. Kicked it out to me in the slot there. Uh, didn't have much room. I just kind of shot it and was hoping and, and luckily it went in. Where did it, where did it, where'd you get it in? Uh, like top left corner. Okay. Far side. Yeah. It's a nice for you after a long layoff. 10 games, I mean, forget about three goals, just to get one, I mean, confidence-wise, and help you to kind of ease back into the lineup, getting one, you know, you don't have anything hanging over your head and stuff like that, and then to get three, uh, probably a ball or something. Yeah, for sure. It was nice to get that first one, first period, uh, get the guys going a little bit, and uh, like you said, it gets the confidence back a little bit. Got my line going. We're a new line right now, but I thought we played pretty well. Both those guys played really good tonight. They have a lot of speed, and uh, yeah, just was a good start to the game. How did it feel out there? I mean, it has been you know, over months since, since you played a game. How did, how did it feel out there? It felt great. I got to give a lot of credit to uh, our trainer, Scotty. He uh, helped me out a lot over the uh, course of the injury and uh, our coaching staff as well. I uh, talked to them all the time, worked hard with them, just try to stay in game shape. When I mean, not playing games, it's not easy, obviously, so uh, got to work a little extra harder. When uh, did you know you were coming back? Was this, like a, did you, was this decision made this morning, earlier in the week, last weekend? When did you know you were coming back? I uh, felt good uh, earlier in the week, but it was kind of a day-to-day -day thing. Me and coach were talking every day and just kind of seeing how I was feeling, and uh, felt good, obviously. You know, Brooke, you mentioned that when it got quiet, you were very vocal on, on the bench and, and kind of helped. Because this was a, a really tough game with, with, with their speed. 
Uh, aside from being on the ice, can you just talk about being back on the team, being back on the bench to, to be a leader in, in that and that that role you have? Yeah, for sure. A couple of times I've been dead on our bench. Uh, they had a lot of momentum going. You got to credit them. They're a good team. They're really fast. Uh, they hemmed us in their zone a bit. Got to give uh, our goalie a lot of credit as well. But yeah, just try, trying to pick the guys up a little bit, try to get some energy back on our bench. I feel that's huge. So uh, I try to step up and do that for the team. Brooke, with these uh, home and homes, I mean, you have it this weekend and you have it next weekend. Uh, how is that? Is that? I mean, do you have momentum? How, how is that different than having a, a two at, at one spot? Well, these guys are, you know, really good at what they do. They're going to cool down. And I mean, the guys are in there getting in the cold tub. Well, they got to have a nice meal and get some rest. I mean, um, I, 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 we haven't figured it out. We've been doing it for two years. I, I don't know who has the advantage. We're going to, the guys are going to get to bed earlier than Robert Morris. So I don't know if that's a factor or not, but yeah, it's, it's tough on both teams. We have to get on the bus tomorrow and go three and a half hours. So, um, but we've done it for two years now. So we're used to it. Talk a little bit about what you were doing to stay in, in game shape and, and what you were doing behind the scenes there. Uh, well, at first, just riding the bike a lot, just doing bike sprints, just trying to keep my wind. And uh, then later on, uh, skating a lot with uh, Pat Oliveto, just kind of doing bag skates and just working hard. That's it, really. Did you feel like uh, at any point, in the, I mean, did, did you feel in good shape towards the end of the game? Were you, uh, were you feeling it at all because it was your first game back, or did you feel pretty good? I mean, at times, if I was getting caught on the uh, far side of the ice, I'd feel it a little bit, but try to focus on making a quick play and getting the puck out so I can get off. But uh, towards the end, I thought that we did a good job keeping the short uh, shifts a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. So at the end, we still had a little bit of juice left.